Hi, I'm Aditi Bhagwat. I'm a trained professional Kathak dancer and a Marathi television and movie actor. I'm sure you all have seen me perform on stage and on TV and uh, well that's why since you're all my friends, I would like to share a very personal little incident of my life. Little but trust me, it took a huge toll on me. So for several years since I remember, I think since 2006, I was, I had this terrible skin problem which we commonly known as acne or pimples. Now acne sounds like a small little four letter word but trust me, it was a terror. Um, when I first saw a few pimples grow on my face, I, I kind of neglected it and didn't bother. Well, because during college I had no acne at all, but what I was suffering from was adult acne, which grew later. 2006, 7, 8, and my problem aggravated, and I probably tried every single medicine under the sun to cure myself of it. To the point that I had realized that probably I'm going to live with this and I'm going to die with this problem. Well, of course, since it was my face, it was my skin, and well, your face is eventually important, especially when you belong to the entertainment industry, where people only look at face value more than your personality. Your personality, personality only comes through if people become your friends or are your fans and follow you later. But your first impression is the last impression, and it's pretty unfortunate, but that's the case. So well, whenever I would face my audience, when I was on stage, and especially while I, was, I used to shoot for movies, it was even more difficult because close-up shots were next to impossible. Most of the times, my pimples and the scars from the pimples couldn't even get concealed by makeup. Also, while wearing makeup, it used to be very painful because they, the makeup artist used to use sponge on it, brushes on it to conceal the scars and it was, it was terrible. And it was terrible for my self-confidence, for my self-esteem. And trust me, I'm a very confident person because, well, I dance and I'm a public personality. But then, thanks to my acne, my confidence had gone down to zero. Well, uh, because it was my skin, it was my face, I went to one of the best specialists, skin specialists in Bombay. And, and likewise, then I almost started doctor shopping. I used to go to every possible doctor to cure my problem. Why? Because they would administer me these horrible pills, isotretinoin pills, hormonal pills and sometimes, you know, I once discovered that there's this pill that the doctor had administered which is actually banned out of India. You could sue the doctor if the doctor gives you that pill. But that medicine is used in India to treat pimples. There was another cream I used to use, benzyl peroxide, which is the most commonly administered ointment by all these skin specialists for acne. And let me share this one incident with you which is petrifying. I was in New York for a tour and um, one of my friends took a bed sheet after doing laundry and he showed me, Aditi, why are there so many bleached patches on this sheet? I think it is your benzyl peroxide. And I saw that and I couldn't, I couldn't figure out what it must have done to my skin because I was using it for two years. I used to use it during the night, I used to use it during the day and eventually it had started scarring my skin even more. There were red patches all over my face so obviously my skin was reacting to it. But I was so eager, so frustrated to get rid of this problem that I was doing anything and everything possible. Well, um, I reached a point where I just gave up and I said, fine, I don't care. And I happened to watch TV one day. And with that thought in mind, I was just surfing, surfing channels and I was wondering what's going on. And I saw this interview of this amazingly dynamic doctor. His name is Sripad Khedikar. And of course, he's uh, from the, his clinic is called the Imperial Clinics. And there was this little documentary on, on uh, acne and skin problem and hair fall. And I said, okay, that relates to me totally. And I've done everything in this world, so might as well just sit and watch the interview. I saw that and my, my mother, of course, because you know, if you have a skin problem, if there's a, there's a ill person in the house, it sort of affects the entire family. So my, even my mom used to go doctor shopping for me. So she told me, Aditi, why don't, you know, we've tried everything. We've tried Yunani medicine, Ayurvedic, Ayurvedic, why don't you try this now? And uh, the very next day I sought an appointment and uh, uh, the staff at Imperial Clinics is very friendly and such amazing people. They instantly called me and I reach here and then I somehow have this one hour interview about, um, they, they ask me everything about what I like, what I don't like, 
what affects my mood if i have a dog at home what you know who who is who do i live with and i was like what is the relation till i later found that the way they approached my illness was truly the way what i've learned in psychology the whole mind and body relationship and it just kind of opened the doors for me and for my illness and i just realized that this is the best way to treat a patient without any side effects entirely knowing the person's body what he reacts to what he does not react to and then administering medicine so when my treatment started and i started noticing a change within the first 3 months and uh, well the change was very consistent it was not like allopathy where you know all the symptoms are suppressed and then after you stop taking the medicine within 2 months your acne is aggravated four times here the change was consistent it went on and after i think the first 6 or 7 months 8 months there was this huge tapering effect from 20 pimples it just reduced to 10 and 5 3 and today i have zero acne so of course it earlier it was 100 acne zero confidence now it is 100 confidence and zero acne i beat it this time and yes thanks to homeopathy thanks to dr shripa kedekar thanks to imperial clinics that finally i have the confidence to face the world face the world and yes my skin feels amazing i don't need to wear makeup anymore if i'm just making a social visit somewhere i'm not conscious about facing the camera i don't need to conceal my scars or anything and of course it also helped me deal with certain other mental problems like depression from acne lack of self esteem and it just has made me a better person and uh, well so trust me people who have a problem like me especially girls my age or even teenagers who have a problem like me there is light at the other end of the tunnel and that light is homeopathy and nothing else